Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and this video is a service to us all. This is not a call out to sites. I'm going to call out a couple sites, but I do it with love, not with hate, because I want us to unite to stand against BS clickbait websites. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. We need to be better. Uh, otherwise, we all suffer because really, even as a content creator now, I feel like we're all resorting to clickbait. If we don't just make crap up uh, to talk about what phase four is going to have and who's going to be cast and what's going to happen, nobody's clicking because we're all competing for views. We're all doing it. And now what we're doing is we're going to, to these weird sites and encouraging the behavior by talking about it and making it newsworthy. So people go check it out and then see, oh, well, this site reported on it. And one of the biggest, one of the biggest culprits of this site, and I see it all the time, is this site. We got this covered. Guys, they don't have anything covered but clickbait nonsense, and I'm going to break it all down, and I'm going to break down a couple of my friends online, channels that supported me, uh, that use this site way too often. Uh, this is not a news site, guys, They are, and I, I want to break it all down for you so you understand why, and particularly with this story, Disney wants Brie Larson to lead their new Star Wars trilogy. Of course, this is a hot-button topic that got a lot of people fuming because people online, on the internet, they don't like Brie Larson. Uh, that's not what this video is about. I got my own issues with Brie Larson, and you're allowed to hate on Brie Larson. I think she's done some great performances, Room, uh, Short Term 12. She's a good actress, but I don't love all her politics, and I didn't love the performance of Captain Marvel. But I understand why people are upset, uh, but I think we could be civil about it. Uh, but this idea that she's going to be in Kevin Feige's new Star Wars trilogy, first of all, he's announced a project, not a trilogy, uh, is just complete guesswork that's not confirmed in the slightest. There's not a single ounce of journalism to say why. Just the fact that she posed uh, in Star Wars cosplay a while back <laughs> and apparently was at the premiere of the Galaxy's Edge opening in Disney World. Who wouldn't want to go see that for free and see it early and not have to wait in lines? That doesn't mean she's doing a movie. She's friends with Disney people. That's how that happens. But of course, uh, Captain Marvel star showed her lightsaber skills of the summer, checked out the Galaxy's Edge experience in Disney, and after channeling her inner geek once more a few weeks later with another photo of herself just as Jedi, fans have begun to call for the actress to book a trip to the galaxy far, far away for real. But what are the chances that Brie Larson will show up in a Star Wars movie? Well, she's clearly a big fan of the sci-fi franchise. Show your sources. Oh, there are none. We're just guessing. But given that she's busy preparing to lead the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, also speculation, uh, not true. Notice all of these links, all BS articles that all feed themselves. So you click one and you stay on their site, just keep clicking, click, 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 click. Uh, all BS, I'm not clicking on these. Uh, it's unclear if she'd have time to hop on a Disney, uh, Disney's other behemoth property. That being said, the studio would certainly be interested in having her on board if they can make it work. Source is close to We Got This Covered. The same ones that told us that Tom Welling was returning to Crisis Earth. Now, let's check that story out before I continue, because let's, let's, let's put their credibility to check. So two months ago, they said Tom Welling and Linda Carter are in early talks to appear in Crisis on Infinite Earths. Linda Carter's not confirmed. Uh, this is one of their exact, exact things they do of they just shoot obvious things out. I know uh, Lewis from Nuke the Fridge, uh, Nerd Alert. He actually talked to Tom Welling and knew this a year ago. This has been obvious, like, duh, if you can get Tom Welling to be Superman, get him. This has been something that fans have been speculating for years so this is, this is what they do. They say, well, of course, Linda Carter will play Wonder Woman and Tom Welling will be Superman. Let's just put them both out there. And then when it happens, if it happens, we can say we knew because we got this covered. They didn't have anything covered. They're literally just listing a bunch of, maybe this could happen, maybe that could happen. So BS. Now let's continue to read. Uh, they're also the ones that told us that Jonah Hill was signing on for the Penguin, or I'm sorry, for the, the Batman. Oh man, this one's even better because when you go and click that article, uh, sorry, we click this. When you go and click that article, you see Jonah Hill said to be front runner for Penguin and the Batman. Again, not confirmed. They're just guessing because he's portly. Uh, that's the portly character that would be in Batman. So what a what an easy guess. Uh, but they just speculate, speculate, and they really lead with Josh Gad, Nicholas Colt, Toby Jones. They're crossing their bets. So if any of them win, they can say they had it covered. Uh, but according to multiple sources, the very same ones that said Pattinson is Batman, see what they're doing it again in the first place, uh, and who revealed that Black Adam will be the villain in Shazam 3. Again, something that's not proven yet. Uh, and which Zach Levi later confirmed. Okay, which is now they're just literally links on links. Uh, Jonah Hill is the one of the act is one of the actors that Warner Brothers is currently looking at for the part. Uh, what's more, we've heard that he's actually the front runner for this role as well. 
Now, that doesn't mean he'll necessarily land the gig, but either way, the Wolf of Wall Street is definitely being considered. So literally, they're being considered. Now, the reason this is happening and why it's considered is because they've been running this, this one for a while. If you go four months prior, we can see they didn't mention Jonah Hill. It was Josh Gad and Nicholas Holt. Uh, I had to play the Penguin. Uh, that's who they led with in this article. And then, of course, sometime later, they came up with Jonah Hill. Uh, and, you know, then they, th I, I, I really don't believe, I wonder if they threw this in afterwards, but they are now speculating because where the Jonah Hill rumor started was if you click on here, you go even way, way, way back to 10 months ago. Uh, is Jonah Hill being eyed for the Penguin? Because some guy on Twitter saw that he followed Margot Robbie and Matt Reeves. So therefore, he must be the Penguin. That's literally their source. That they are found this a while ago, and now they're claiming it as a source. And now, because you can't really give your sources up or prove anything, they have a source. They've gotten sloppy and aggressive, and it needs to stop. This is ridiculous. And in case you don't see what I'm talking about, guess what? From six days ago, Jonah Hill's also reportedly being eyed for The Thing in MCU's Fantastic Four. I'm sure this one will prove to be true so they can take credit for it later. And if they don't, guess what? You'll never see this article again. It'll just disappear into the internet with their thousands of other articles that are fake news that nothing did. So now why am I bringing this up? Why is this such an annoying thing? Because they, they try and make it seem like they are legitimate. Uh, the same ones that told us that the CW is developing an Arrow spinoff. Uh, what an easy bet. <laughs> the CW is developing another spinoff from Arrow because they've already done it five times and Arrow's ending, so safe guess to say that they're spinning off another movie uh, have just been confirmed, have told us that Disney really wants Brie to take one of the lead roles in either Ryan Johnson's new trilogy or, one, or the one coming to us from Game of Thrones trilogy. First of all, they're so out of touch. I don't even believe Rian and John. I don't even believe these trilogies are locked yet. I think we're going to find news that they fell apart. But now their source is saying that they're going to be in one of those trilogies. This is just like such BS crap that they're just trying to like make it seem like they know what's going on, but they don't have any clue what's going on. They have nothing covered. Uh, it's unclear which one she'd appear in because God forbid Feige do something completely different. <laughs> so out of touch, this whole article. This was before Feige admitted it. Uh, that he was doing this, I guess. They don't even have that uh, part of this. They they guessed this before, so now people are jumping on. Uh, but from what we understand, the Mouse House would like to find a way to make it work and have her continue for her MCU commitments while also being involved in Star Wars. And though that may not be possible in the end, we'll keep our fingers crossed that things work out. Uh, of course, and they just make more things. And of course, they called the, that She-Hulk was being developed. Literally, I bet you if we go, well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. What I want to do is like look up some things to prove how ridiculous this site is, just so we can really. So let's look up. Everybody's uh, reporting on this one, of course, now, but and I'll get to that uh, of my frustration there. But now let's see their speculation. WB may ad adapt Flashpoint for the Flash 2 to bring in Pattinson into DCU. Sounds like a safe bet, right? Patrick Wilson and Nicole Kidman will return for Aquaman 2. Sounds like a safe bet. Uh, Sony reportedly uh, developing solo movie for Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio from an hour ago. Sure, maybe. Disney considering buying Spider-Man back from Sony. Wow, so years from now when they do it, they can say, we called it, we had that covered. Marvel wants both Cosmic Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze to be in the MCU. That's not broad or vague enough, right? Uh, MCU's next few story arcs have been reportedly revealed. Marvel wants to do a Midnight Suns movie. Supergirl will probably cameo in the next Superman movie. I mean, you could go and do this for hours. Uh, they guess Wolverine may be getting its own Disney Plus show. <laughs> Deadpool 3 will be reportedly R-rated. This, why are we encouraging this? Why, like, this is ridiculous what they're doing. I, I, it makes me so mad. Here's how Jonah Kill could look as the Riddler, because now they're placing their bets more, because while we got this covered, said he was the frontrunner for the Penguin, he might play the Riddler instead, so let's make sure we do that too. Uh, Will Smith might be eyed to star in the Fantastic Four reboot, because why not? These are all headlines. Let's look, okay, let, now I want to show this. Let's just speculate. What do they know about Phase 5? Well, apparently they're already jumping into Phase 6 because they want multiple superhero teams in Phase 5 and 6. Uh, they're holding secret meetings. A week ago, they, we got this covered, told us that they're holding secret meeting to soon plan and phase out, uh, to, fan, to uh, plan out Phase 5. Uh, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange will reportedly face off in MCU Phase 5. David Carber's Red Guardian return after Black Widow for future MCU films. Marvel may cast a person of color for the MCU's Professor X and Magneto. I mean, this is Breaking Bad star being eyed to play Professor X. I mean, nothing in here is fact. It's all made up gobbledygook. Oh, and there's Looper popping up. Uh, 
I noticed this a while back too when they talked about the live action remakes at Disney. They want to do apparently a Brother Bear remake. Oh, and a Princess and the Frog remake. And a Home on the Range remake as if it couldn't get more absurd. The Roseanne Barr animated film that bombed that no one wants. Uh, Hercules, of course. Fox and the Hound. Why not? Let's just put, what other Disney movie can we just say that they're working on? Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is being eyed for Hades in Disney's live action Hercules remake, which isn't even confirmed. I mean, this just shows you how ridiculous it is. And the reason I get this upset is because sites I know support me, and this is to you, Geeks and Gamers, Uzias and, and Jeremy at uh, Quartering. Uh, you guys do this all the time. And to be fair, the Geeks and Gamer, he admitted this isn't news speculation, but they're all showing this We Got This Covered link. They're treating it like it's news. They're giving it clicks and views. Why are you guys doing this? Come on. This isn't news. Now, if you want to just speculate on, you know, Brie, L Brie Larson shouldn't be in Star Wars, then that's fine. But when you go and use the news site and just read it as sort of your, your touching point to go, that's not a take. You're encouraging a lying website and you're sending views. All of us are sending views to the site. And the only reason I'm calling it out is because I want to stop sending people these sites. We got this, you know, they don't got anything covered. Geeks and Gamers, quartering, please stop using them. If you want to use them as research and get some good ideas and then do your own takes, then do it. Like, say whatever you want. But my point is, let's not legitimize this clickbait site and give them more traffic. They make money by the more clicks they get. And when they get legitimate channels to confirm and use them you know, and, and talk about it, people go searching. Is this news? And I'm going, we all went and gave them some clicks and then they get paid and then they're encouraged to do this more. And as we as YouTube creators, all of us, even you guys, I'm, I'm the ones I'm calling out, I don't say this meanly. I just say, we got to look out for each other. We got to stop sending the traffic out to this crap because we're all resorting to making stuff up at this point. I've seen people doing it. We, we are so desperate for the clicks because the algorithm screws us on YouTube that we have to say whatever the hell we can say to get views. Uh, and I'm trying really hard to not resort to that. I, I try to be honest and genuine. Uh, and if I clickbait you, I call it a clickbait in the title so you know I'm what I'm doing as sort of a joke. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, I see other channels, they're falling for it and they're doing it more often. And we should be careful to say, you know what? This one comes from a site that we don't encourage, uh, but it sparked the conversation of, well, what if they did do this? And then at least you're being honest and you're not calling them news and you're not giving them any credit. That's all I'm pushing for here. Do whatever you want, report what you want. I'm not trying to, again, call anybody on blast, but I hope we can all agree clickbait sucks. And when channels and sites are lying to us about movie news just so they can make some sweet revenue and then pretend like, you know, as we reported here, 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 because they did a thousand articles in a week and five of them worked. And yes, yeah, so then they only call those five back and they don't call back the 995 that didn't. And you guys need to know this when you're watching and scouring the internet. Be careful who you're giving your support to on sites. Make sure they're legitimate news sites. Everyone talks fake news and there is fake movie news. That's what this is about. Enough with the fake movie news because we have to start working together and find personalities and, and, and people online, YouTubers or authors you like that are legit. I prefer Slash Film. I think they're a more legit site that usually are much more organized and that's where I like to go sort of get my, my breakdown. Tell me in the comments below who you like, what do you subscribe so we can sort of share each other and find a better network of, you know, authors and channels that are making sure we're not contributing to this fake movie news because we don't, we can speculate and we can comment all we want. And a YouTuber shouldn't, I, I try to do this and I know I've been criticized of, Andy, you're just reading articles. Well, yeah, I'm using the article as a headline to start a conversation and then offer my perspective because this is my channel and I do it because I want to do it. I enjoy talking and I enjoy talking with you and hearing your feedback, reading your comments. If you don't like it, you don't have to be here. Uh, but my point is converse, conversing about it, speculating about it, you know, doing theories, reviewing, critiquing, all of that's fair game. And we can, we should be doing that. But encouraging sites that are literally doing clickbait headlines and hedging their bets on which actor will be in phase six so that if one of them is right, now they seem legit. That's really dangerous for us as a community. And I think we all need to be careful of it. So yes, I'm calling out. We got this covered. They don't have anything covered. Be warned. Don't support it. If you're going to support it, know you're going to a clickbait link farm that's just trash. Uh, and be careful because there's no legitimate news there. It's not, it's all guesswork. It's all, and, and there's other sites out there. And that we got this covered is the most guilty of this because at least other sites that I might, that you might want to call out sometimes have actual news. Uh, but no, we got this covered. Isn't they, their, uh, screen rant is becoming that, which is really scary. They used to be actually better. 
uh, screen rants becoming out. There are a lot of them out there that are just doing it. Uh, it's crazy. And I'm going to do another article about this. But right now, uh, to, to for calling shade shade, uh, I'm going to do a separate article about my frustration with this. But like, fandom putting out Sony's Marvel reported film slate. Um, huh? Based off of what? Where do you have any backing of this? This is just to get people annoyed because this is the worst sounding slate ever. And I'm going to talk about that in a video of why, what the slate should be and what they should avoid. You can make that be your story. But to call it Sony Marvel's reported film slate, that's just bad journalism. And I would be ashamed to be associated with that of someone putting this out as it's news because someone tweeted it to me like, oh, check out the slate. That's what happens. We have to be better. We have to make sure we check our sources. And they're doing this as politically obviously a huge deal but we should take movie news just as seriously because that's what i care about i don't want my movie news to start getting tainted like political news let's be honest about what we cover let's give our opinions let's critique and criticize but let's not legitimize sites that are garbage what do we say can we agree on that let me know hit me up on social media tell me what you think send me articles you want me to call out i want to make that part of my routine here uh, as well as things i want to talk about uh, leave your comments down below. Let's start a conversation. Uh, and I appreciate you hearing me out and my complaints and to, the, and to Geeks and Gamers, Jeremy and Jeremy the Quartering, all you guys, no disrespect, but come on. Let's try, let's try to avoid that site. Let's try to avoid the really bad clickbait sites. And if you're going to report on it, great. Just don't make them seem like they're a news story. Can we agree on that? Please be better, all of us together. What do you think? Let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.